are all of the answers to those problems that we just did. Okay, you guys did them pretty quickly, which means that, that you pretty much knew what you were doing and kind of going down the line. Okay, so uh, again, when we convert millimeters to atmospheres, that's the most common divide by 760. We just need to, that just needs to become instinctive. Okay, um, and then KPAs, there's 101.3, and again, that is the standard uh, metric unit for pressure, but it's not used a lot in normal chemistry problems, but we need to be familiar with that, okay? And so these are all just good conversion factors here. So everybody agrees with these numbers, okay? And we're all rounded to three sig figs uh, because that's what the given is, so that's all good, all right? So now at 21, it was said the temperature was held constant. That's gonna tell me that I'm gonna use Boyle's Law. It's only pressure and volume, okay? So obviously to do the algebra here, we just divide both sides by 0.724, and that's how you get this. Now, really, what should that, to proper number of sig figs, what should that be? 142. 142, okay? Just for sig fig purposes. And you don't need to put that V2 in there. It's just 142 milliliters. We know that the, well, I would put V2 over here and just say V2 equals that many milliliters, okay? And then 23, you're given all three, nothing is held constant, okay? So we just plug this in. Now, we do need to know that the 380, if you're gonna do the algebra, the 380 comes up here and the, this comes down here. So V2 is gonna equal 1.03 times 2.2 times 380 divided by 320 times 0.789. But again, on your calculator, you can't put it in that way. You have to go this times this times this divided by this divided by 0.789 or just use a parenthesis if you wanna go times. Because your calculator is gonna go this times this times this divided by this have an answer and then it's gonna do whatever you tell it next with that answer. Okay, so we've talked about that a lot in the past. Make sure that you just put in your calculator right. All right, so here's another pressure and volume, Boyle's Law, number 25. That's 100% right, doesn't matter. Okay, but there is no reason to convert it. I say, I thought that was actually yeah, it, 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 there, again, when you're using um, any of the Boyle, Charles, De Lussac's combined gas laws, as long as there's no constant, you can use pressure in any unit, you can use volume in any unit. Temperature, though, always has to be going. 25, so then we, we did 28, okay? Now, here's 28. Again, I recommend we use units just so we know what's gonna come out to be. But when we have to solve for T2, this one's a little bit trickier because we have to cross multiply to get the T out of the denominator. You can't just bring the 300 up here, okay? Or, or I even say bring the 1.125 down here because then you gotta get one over T2. So you gotta realize this is gonna come up to here, okay? This is gonna to have to come up to there, and then this it will come down to there. So T2, just so you know, T2 will equal 1.125 times 300 divided by 0.625. Just for the algebra on that one, make sure we get T out of the denominator. So you'll cross multiply and then divide by the 0.625. Eighth grade math. Okay, 29 is all three again. Same thing though on this one, T2. It's in the denominator. That's the one that gives students the most problem with the math because you end up solving for one over T2 rather than T2. So you gotta cross multiply, bring the T2. We come up here, the 250 comes up here. So that T2 is canceled, 250 is canceled. Now what? Okay, 
okay? Just making sure we know how to do that algebra. I, 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 you all seem pretty confident in that, which uh, compliments to the math teachers. Um, so we're, again, you have it all set up. I'm just making sure we, we know how we're getting from the setup to the final answer. 30, same thing. X is in the denominator. Now this time it wanted Celsius temperature, right? You still have to do it in Kelvin. Even if they gave you the temperature in Celsius and asked for the answer in Celsius, convert to Kelvin, do it in Kelvin, then convert back to Celsius, which I believe is what y'all did, you did here. Okay? Was it given in Celsius here? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you got to convert to Kelvin and then go back. Y'all all being quiet, like this is, you know, easy money, piece of cake, upside down, no problem. Okay, we like just plugging in the formulas. <laughs> all right. And then we have, again, over here, again, it's a P1, D1 over T1 on all those. Okay. So those are all Boyle's, Charles, Gailey, Sachs laws. Okay. Now... Turn to page 382 and do 69, 71, 72, and 73. Do we have to turn these in on Google Classroom? Yes. I got to go correct that. I, I knew I had some more. I thought I forgot about these. This is page 382. 